buddy. Do you want to see your monitor? Well, that's a good, probably a good idea, right? <laughs> I mean, you got 60 cycle hum. They know how to YouTube. Me? I don't know. <laughs> I just buy cameras, like expensive cameras, and I never read any manual. I never dig in any menus. I turn them on, and if it doesn't look good, I'm like, damn, Brett, stupid camera. <laughs> this camera's garbage. I didn't even read the monitor. It won't work. Wait, where's your, ah, oh, there's your mic. Yeah, Except put it in my, I didn't even see that. My lanyard there. Just, I'm, I'm checking. I'm a control freak. We are, um, we were at the Aristides booth because uh, Ryan is the kind of man that looks at seven, eight string metal guitars. And now we are at another booth that is, of course, totally up his alley, which is solo guitars. Ola Englund's own brand. I'm, I'm honestly enjoying looking at this thing. It's uh, got some fun design features to it. Oh, that's got EMGs. I didn't know he does EMGs. I think it's really interesting that he put the, uh, he put the switch on the smallest <laughs> Part yeah, of I the mean, guitar if body. You're, if, you're, if you're an S. Paul type player, usually it's down here on, on, a, on an Explorer. Yeah. I really like. Let's go a little bit closer. I really like the shaping of these. I reviewed. I think this is the more expensive model. I reviewed the V. Mm -hmm. I reviewed this and uh, one of the other ones. Uh, I, I didn't respond great to the um, one with the Evertune because I didn't get the Evertune. But it was me. That's not the problem with the Evertune. This um, arm cut here is, is pretty brilliant. And like, then this. I, it's so stealthy, and like the problem I have with Explorer style guitars is just like your arm like catches that wing so much, and it's some kind of relief there, and it looks sharp is just really fantastic. But look at the body; it looks ma it's, a, it's a massive thick of oh, yeah. wood. It's super thick. It, like what is that? Well, like? it's got massive wood. <laughs> well, it's got massive wood. Says Henning. I mean, I'm gonna have to take, take his word for yeah, it. Yeah, trust me. I've, I've seen. I'm, I'm looking at it. It's like two and three quarters inch thick or something like that. How many meters thick is that? I don't know. It's about four meters. <laughs> about four meters thick. Yeah. <laughs> um, and whoa, 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 this is awesome. Yeah. Because look, the side dots are actually, I love when, when I've rarely seen this, but I suggested it to companies. Way to go, Ola. They're not side dots, they're actually side bars. Side inlays. Yeah. It's a very well done. It's almost got this uh, two-tone ska sort of thing going on. I think this is supposed to be a ska guitar. Um, here we have uh, three, five, seven, and then it gets a little bit confusing. It's a little murky. It's <laughs> then a little it's like, murky. What? But God. that's you know that's where this plays Ab in. Absolutely. That for your actual visual reference, that's for the audience. That's for the people watching you shred on this thing, or you know, play ska on it because it's obviously a ska guitar. Uh, I'll be very clearly. Yeah. Now let me check. No locking tuners, still just the Grovers, which is something that bugs me on these because they're modern guitars, and for me on a modern guitar, you should have locking tuners. How much are these? Do you know? No idea? The, if this is one of the higher range ones, which I, I, I actually couldn't tell, they range between $699 and about $1400-$1500. Well, if it's, not, if it's under a grand, I, I don't fault them for actually, not having locking have, tuners. Wait, it doesn't have the... Evertune, the ones with Evertune are, a thou are above a thousand. Okay, so this so, is one of the uh, so, more but affordable this ones. This has EMGs, so I'm gonna I'm gonna guess, only a guess, probably eight ninety nine, maybe maybe nine ninety nine. Sold. <laughs> with the inlays, I don't know, but I mean, yeah, right. That's a ska guitar. Mm -hmm. It's a ska guitar. <laughs> so um. The color choices here at Solar Guitars are seven string black. You have... Seven string is one of my favorite colors. Yes, exactly. I don't own any guitars that are seven string, but I like the color of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, as they say in Germany, you fucker. <laughs> um, here we have black. The next guitar is also black. Mm. The one down there, what, what color would you call that, Ryan? Blake. <laughs> well, they're different kinds of black here. You can't just call them black. Oh, and I be can. Done. I can and I will. Like this is like a flat black. This is like a grainy black. It's got the wood grain. This is like a chalkboard black, and uh, this is Batman black. Batman black. Batman black. Batman black. And not just because it has like a Batman cut to it. Like it looks like Batman. This is Batman guitars. And not like new Batman, I'm talking like Tim Burton Batman. <laughs> and that's what happens when you work with professionals. But there are two that are not black, so let's go to them. Because I, I gravitate to them quite a bit. 
<laughs> they have a whole range of colors, two that are not black. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, this is this is sweet though. Oh, that's got that's got quite a bit of weight to it. Oh, this one's heavy too. Um, neck through uh, a five-piece neck. Yeah, I would say mahogany mm, with, with walnut on the on the neck through. Again, quite a bit of weight. Oh, and no ever to where are the, all the Evertunes? They're on the black ones. Yeah, good point. Um, so this is something that I could very much get to like. Neck through, which means this should sustain like crazy. Um, fixed bridge, so no Floyd, because I said fixed. Mm -hmm. They fixed it. Yeah, they fixed the bridge. Yeah. Um, don't, oh, uh, these are Duncan, Duncan Solar. His own, uh, his own pickup, maybe? Yeah. To go with the solars? We have slightly indented, slightly indented knobs, that's nice. Yeah, those uh, were on the, uh, the other one too. I think that's, yeah. all his guitars have the indented knobs. This is a really beautiful bow top. I like the color. Five position switch, the way I like it. Subtle dots, the, the, the heel neck joint thing feels good. Really, really big luminary, uh, lum, luminescent, lumi, lumen, lumen lay. Lumen lay side dots. Let's see if they're centered because that's what we do. They are centered. Well done, Olaf's factory. Um, yeah, no locking tuners. And Ola, I will bitch about that until they have locking tuners. Or I would just always bitch about that. I bitch about that. Well, no offense. This is a stunning guitar. I really like this. Thick ass top on it. This is good. Uh, do yours. This one's red. <laughs> Has one more string than the one Henning was was holding. The next feels like it has one more string because it's wider to accommodate the string. And that's been my review of this guitar. Uh, I, I've been a little seven string curious for a while. I need to pick, I need to find like a cheap one to pick up and mess around with, but I do like really garage rocky, surfy kind of stuff. So I'm wondering like if I can make that kind of sound translate through a seven string guitar. Now, do they make seven string guitars with single coils? That's that's really what I want. Yes, really, yes. Um, let me think. I mean, it feels very comfortable to play. This probably wouldn't be your surfy garage rock no. guitar. There are seven strings with, I don't know, single coils. Um, Cause like baritone's a thing yeah, I, I, in like I surfy think, stuff. I think for surfy, really? Yeah. Well, then you can totally use seven strings. Yeah. But I mean, for garage rock, Look at this. If you have like, you know, you play power chords and you're going to and then you have the C and the D are always on the A string. We're about to get run over here. <laughs> this is not a racetrack. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they're, they're always on the A string and sometimes when you really, when, you, when you're jamming on the E string, you get the, the heft. And then you go to the C and the D, which you you need because those are letters. Yeah. Then all it's of, in the alphabet. Then sometimes it just like it drops out. You know, mm. you, you lose the weight, and then you just go D and C, and you you play power chords down here. You can totally play them crunchy. You can absolutely do punky garage rock stuff. Um, probably not with this guitar. This is like a. Yeah, well, it just needs a few stickers on it, really. No, 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 <laughs> right. This is a precision tool to kill. This is a killing machine. Precision, it is pointy enough. Yes. It is precision mills to go... It's got a good weight behind it. Like, you, you drive that into your enemies, it's going to pass right through them. It's a killing machine. He, he asked me to do a video with him. This is your fault, Henning. <laughs> this is the face of regret. Um, <laughs> we're having fun. We're doing another one after this. I don't know what, but somewhere. We'll figure something out. Um, and then there's Fortin amps, which apparently are absolutely amazing. I don't know anything about them. The, the man is the, the man. He's the man. He's the known as some of, one of the uh, Marshall mod dudes, and um makes brutal stuff. Too bad we can't. I mean, that's what they look like. They look like that over there, yep. amps. Let me open this guitar back up. <laughs> so, what I see here, good job, Ola. I ran into you somewhere. 
maybe I'll do again. If not, this was my Ola thing. Good Ola thing. <laughs> and um, <laughs> links below to Toman, you can check this out. I don't know how I, I don't, well, just, I link to Solar Guitar to Toman. Check out pricing and all that. Um, and let's do Spanish. Animales al final.